Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 10 Pokemon Booster Packs. Both are the Evolution set. The one on the left are the English Evolution set, and then the one on the right is the Japanese 20th Anniversary Expansion. Both have base set reprint cards in them, so just thought I'd mix both together. I've opened up booster boxes of both of these sets in the past on YouTube, but now you can get a little bit closer look at the differences and different little designs of the two sets. And what I did is I went out and bought booster boxes of both 20th Anniversary and Evolutions and I'm breaking them down so you'll see more of these videos in the future on YouTube. Bought both of these items from Collector's Cash. Um, definitely check out that website if you haven't already. Buy a lot of my booster boxes from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Japanese first, go to the Evolutions and then go back and forth. And one thing I do like about the 20th anniversary pack here is you get a hollow card in every single pack and you can get an ultra rare and a hollow card in one pack and of course these are first edition cards in English you no longer get the first edition card trick here is one two and then the next two are the potential ultra rare and hollow so first of the 20th anniversary collection pack starts off with Pikachu there's a seal Kakuna, Ponyta, Magnemite, Machop, this is a maintenance trainer, Nidorino, oh there we go right there, excellent start to this opening with a Nidoking break, and then the hollow in the pack, like I said you can get two in the one pack, is a Raichu, I like that card quite well, there we go, lighten up the background just a little bit. One of my favorite holo cards from the set. And I'll summarize my polls at the end of this video. We'll move on to evolutions now. You'll see a big difference between the pack artwork on the Japanese and English sets. So code card here. Of course, no code cards or anything in the Japanese packs. Okay, so first card here is a Nidoran. There's a Growlithe. Rattata. Electabuzz, Magikarp, Full Heal Trainer, Machoke, Switch Trainer, Reverse Hollow of, a Mewtwo, excellent start with the English Evolutions, rare Reverse Hollow right here, and then the final card is a Poliwrath. So two great starts to both of the packs I'm opening up here. We'll go back to the Japanese version. I think I'll probably do a larger Japanese opening the booster boxes I bought. I gave away one, the, one of those booster boxes in November as well. And I'll be doing a fairly large opening of these booster packs. So again, one, two. And the Japanese cars are definitely better quality than the English ones. But, but I have to say I like the English ones probably better just because English, of course, is my the language I use and just more familiar with those cards. So this pack starts with a coughing. There's a Poliwhirl. Ghastly. Diglett. Vulpix. Magikarp. Farfetch. Now this one is a rare in Evolutions. There is a Blastoise Spirit Link. Oh, there we go, a Charizard Hollow. And only one Hollow card or one rare in this pack because it is in the second to last spot. Oh, and then a secret rare to end it. What a great pack right there. Wow. Really a great start to this opening. Okay, Evolutions pack now, right you on the cover artwork. Charmander right on the front, and this is one of the promo cards that you could get at Toys R Us when the set was first released. You could get a Charizard that said Toys R Us in the Pokemon picture. So like I said, pack starts with a Charmander. There's Ghastly, Growlithe, Metal Type Energy, Staryu, Super Potion Trainer, Double Colorless Energy, a very good special energy card, Professor Oak's Hint, Reverse Hollow, oh, of a Magmar. Really hoping to pull a Charizard Rare Reverse Hollow. Have not pulled that card out of a pack yet. And the final card here is a Charizard EX. So heavy on the Charizard so far in this video. I actually like going back and forth between Japanese and English quite well. 
Okay, going on to the Japanese pack, and you wouldn't think I'd get a too much more that's that great in these five packs of 20th anniversary that I'm opening up, just because I've had some great pulls so far. Charizard Hollow, the Needle King Break. So card trick again. First card here is an Onyx. Then there is a Caterpie. Needle Ran Male. Ratata, Magmar, there's a Poliwag, Charmeleon, Raticate, pretty good in the TCG, Holo Card, oh, it's not a Holo Card, it is the Blastoise EX Full Art, and in English, this one's in the Red and Blue Collection box, but an excellent pull right there, and then the final card, the Holo is a Mewtwo, and this again is the difference between the English and Japanese sets in the English set. The Mewtwo is a rare non-hollow, unless you buy the theme deck, then you can get a special patterned Mewtwo hollow. So next pack here, English Evolutions now. So there's the code card. Pack starts off with Machop. Pikachu, Magnemite, Ponyta, Sandshrew, Brock's Grit, one of the two full art trainers you can get in this set. There's a Devolution Spray, Nidorino, Reverse Hollow of, Metapod, Uncommon Rarity, and the rare in this pack, a Gyarados Hollow. And this card was the first card that I ever had in my collection way back in 1999. Uh, received a theme deck for my birthday, the Overgrowth theme deck, and of course had the ch the Gyarados Hollow in it. And after that, I've been hooked on the collecting the cards in the TCG. So back to Japanese now. Three packs left after this one: one 20th anniversary, and then two evolutions. So first card here is a Doduo. There's Char Charmander, Sandshrew. Porygon, Magnemite, Staryu, Machoke, Arcanine, Hollow Card, Gyarados. So there we go. Back to back packs with Gyarados. And I'll, I'll set that one aside. And then there is a Pokedex Trainer. I'll give you a quick view of the two cards side to side so you can see the differences between the two. Probably depends on the camera a little bit, but you can see that the Japanese card, the border is a little bit darker. And if you feel them in your hand, the Japanese card is just a little bit higher quality, but very, very similar overall. There you have it. Again, I can summarize all my pulls at the end of this video. So next up here, another Evolutions pack. See there's a Ghastly right on the front. Code card. So like I said, Ghastly is the first card. Then there's a Diglett, Charmander, Voltorb, Fire Type Energy, Blastoise Spirit Link, Energy Retrieval, Kakuna, Reverse Hollow of, Growlithe, Common Card, and the rare in the pack, a B Drill. And it wouldn't be an Evolutions opening if I didn't pull that Beedrill card. Seems like I pull that card in every single one of my Evolutions openings. So last pack here, and what I'll do, there are the two different artworks right next to each other. Definitely prefer the Japanese one. Very similar to when Base Set first came out in Japan in 1995. Okay, so this pack starts with a Growlithe. Then there is Drowsy. Tangela, Pikachu, Coughing, Ponyta, Beedrill, which is a rare in the English sets. There's a Haunter. There's the Hollow, a Chansey Hollow. I've always liked this card quite a bit just because you can see so much of the Hollow pattern to it. And then the final card is the Double Colorless Energy. So excellent pulls wise for the 20th anniversary openings. Now on to the final evolutions pack. Okay, so there's the code card. Final pack starts off with a Diglett. There's Ghastly. Caterpie. Lightning type energy. Magikarp. 
Pidgeot Spirit Link, Porygon, there's a Pokedex, Hollow is Arcanine there is the reverse hollow, excuse me, rare reverse hollow of Arcanine. And then the rare in the pack, an electrode rare non hollow. So, an, a good way to end this opening with two rare cards in that final pack. So, I can summarize my polls now. I'll show the Japanese cards that I had first. Just bear with me a quick second here and I'll organize the cards a little bit better. So, of course, in total, pulled five hollow cards because you get a hollow in each pack. I really do like this Chansey Hollow. Then there's a Gyarados, Mewtwo, Charizard, of course, my favorite pull of this opening. And then there's a Raichu. Pulled out one break card in Nido King. Then pulled the Blastoise EX Full Art. And then pulled one secret rare in the Executor. So there's the pulls for the Japanese packs that I opened up. All that out of only five packs. And then the English cards that I opened up. Bear with me a second here so I can get these straightened out. Pulled out two rare reverse hollows, two hollows, and then one ultra rare out of five packs. So here are the two rare reverse hollows, Mewtwo and Arcanine. And then pulled out Gyarados and Polyrath, so two Water-type Hollow cards, and then the best of the English that, cards that I opened up, the Charizard EX. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.